Joe Stratton with him from Ralph Grant and some bunny hunting. Pursuit TV. On this episode, we've got Matt Todd and his son Cody Todd as they head out after Cody's first ever coyote. At the 42 minute mark, you guys are going to notice a double comes in through the ATN scope. Cody gets on him, can't make the connection. Around the 47 minute mark, Cody gets another chance at his first ever coyote. But before we go to the footage, I want to introduce you guys to a couple more members of the Red Line Pursuit crew. First off, we have Travis McCormick. He's a pro staff member for Red Line Pursuit TV. And to my left, we have Josh Phoenix. He's a new field staff member for Redline Pursuit TV. Happy to be here. Welcome these guys aboard, and stay tuned for our next episode of Redline Pursuit TV. Got him. Nice shot, Code. <laughs> this is a prime example of why we stay patient out on the hunt. Because no more than a few minutes after Cody let the first rungs fly, a uh, single came in, and then he let the 223-55 green V-Max eat. Nice shot, Cody. Now we're headed out with Travis on a late season doe hunt. Travis, tell us about your hunt. Thanks, Josh. Hey, guys. So I got access to this nice 40-acre parcel here in Montcalm County, um, muzzle loader season. It was a couple days into it. I realized there's a lot of potential for nice doe out there. After spending muzzle loader season hunting a buck, not having any luck, I decided for late doe season it was time to finally take my doe. I had about six doe come out a little after three o'clock. A um, couple of them were pretty good size, looked like mature does, but weren't really jumping out at me. So only a few minutes later, I uh, saw some more movement in the woods to the west of me. Had a real nice doe step out of the woods, start walking out in the field toward, toward me. Got within about 100 yards or so, and I decided to drop her. Travis McCormick here, Red Line Pursuit TV, out in Montcalm County doing a little late doe hunt. Um, it's a little after 4.30 or so now. I got some movement in the woods to the west of me. It looks like they're coming on the field, so I'm going to get set up and hopefully we'll be getting a doe tonight. Just got it done. Uh, got a doe down out here in the field. Um, she looked pretty good size. I'm gonna sit here for a couple minutes and then we'll get down and just go take a look at her. <laughs> Our pro staff member, Mark Nutell, took his 10-year-old daughter, Bailey, out on her very first firearm deer hunt. Bailey was set up with a 450 Bushmaster. Now, we will warn you, the footage is a little blurry, but we were so excited for Bailey, we were going to air it anyways. Let's take a look and see what happens. Awesome shot, Bailey. We're proud that the youth are in the woods 
Red Line Pursuit TV highly recommends you take all youth hunting. Get them in the tradition. This is what we do. Without the next generation, the hunting sport will die. So anytime you can take a youth hunting, please do. Now we're going to head over and we're going to do a little bit of fox hunting, or so we think. Matt Todd's taking a 14-year-old and a 15-year-old out. The 15-year-old jumps on his ATN scope, but is having a difficulty time finding the safety on the gun. So while Matt Todd's helping him find the safety, that fox enters the field. Now what's kind of interesting with this hunt, Matt Todd never even turns on the call. He just kind of hits the mouse squeak in his pocket a couple times and out pops the fox before anybody was truly ready for it. So take a look and see what happens. Thanks for watching Redline Pursuit TV. Again, I want to welcome our two new pro staff members. Please follow us on our journeys. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube, like our Facebook, and like our YouTube. Why wouldn't you like the YouTube, right? I like the YouTube. We'll catch you guys on the next episode. Stay tuned.